fear of holes. Okay, I'm not scared of anything, so I'm not gonna touch that. YouTube, you're not gonna believe this, really, truly. We're playing another game. Now, I'm so glad you joined us. Welcome to Home Safety Hotline, where I am a human man in 1996. Now, you'll notice everybody above me is clawing and foaming at the mouth. Now, how do I start the game is the question. Mailbox. Oh, there we go. Monday. This is a cool job. I like this job. Welcome employee. To begin shit, please. To begin shift, please clock in below. Bro, taking... That, that's so long to clock in. I would have quit by now. I would have been on Craigslist searching for something new. Yellow. Welcome to Home Safety Hotline, new employee. My name is Carol, and I'll be acting as your supervisor during your time here at HSH. Okay. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you've diagnosed their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard and we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Welcome to the HSH family. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. All right, thank you, Carol. Here we go. This shit is easy. I'm a fast learner, bed bugs. Solution. Bed bugs have developed a resistance to the majority of common pesticides and therefore are quite difficult to remove. Oh, here we go. Yellow. John here. My wife insisted I call this number. It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. Call this number. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coughing to me. I don't know. You tell me, I guess. John, I'm gonna have to put you on hold, buddy. Um, we'll get back to you. Thanks for your call. Please hold. Uh, okay, hold on. Wait, so... So I have to figure out what... Oh, he has black mold, for sure. Or is it carpenter ants, you think? I don't know, cool no, I doubt it's cockroaches. Is it a gopher? <laughs> now, John, here's the thing. You have a gopher infestation. You're going to want to have to... You're, you're going to want to say, pack your bags. It's probably black mold. It's probably black mold, honestly. And and who cares if we're wrong? It's his problem. <laughs> black mold, here we go. Submit. I hope it's right. It's the only one that makes sense. Wait, I'm itchy. <laughs> Info successfully sent. Good job. Yo, that's cool. I like this job. Bees. These things can lead to injury or death. Oh my god. Okay, what do they sound like? Right, okay. Yellow. Hi, I'm so sorry. My name is Grace and it's probably nothing, but I thought I'd call just in case. Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic. Uh, it sounds kind of like, e e e you know, it, it's probably nothing. I'm sure it could just be regular old house noises, but I just thought I'd call to ask and make sure. Grace, I'm going to have to put you on hold, honey. Give me one second, all right? Thank you for your call. Please hold. 
Okay, so she said it sounded like Roddy Riches the Box. It's probably mice. It could be mice, it could be a mole. It's definitely not a mole. It could be a raccoon. Oh, he's just a little guy. He's just a little guy. It has to be mice. Nothing else makes sense. It has to be mice. Yeah, so Grace, you're, you, what you're dealing with here is a, is a mouse. Thank you so much for your call. Because I feel like I'm like doing good in the world, right? Like this is like, this is, this is like being a streamer, but also defeating evil one step at a time. All right, what else we got? A lot of entry inaccessible that we haven't unlocked yet. House spider is new. Yellow. Yeah, How can I help you? Hank here. Last week I called your guys about some crap in my yard. Uh huh. I was told wasn't anything to worry about. Yeah. Well, guess what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. You're kidding me. I'm talking huge piles of brown out there. Brown? You better not tell me it's nothing again, because I know I've seen something moving out there. Tell me what it is so I can take care of it once and for all. Hank, it appears someone is making a dookie. I'm going to have to put you on hold, buddy. Give me one second. Please hold. So already I know it's a gopher, right? Already my experience in the field tells me it's a gopher. It could also be a mole. Their burrows tend to look like volcano shaped mounds. You know, what? I think we're gonna go mole. Warning, never kill a mole, it says. Well, that's to the USSR. I think it's it's gotta be mole though, because the raccoons. It says raccoons bite humans and their feces contains parasites and uh, will lead to progressive neurological damage. <laughs> I'm gonna go mole, final answer. Hank, you're not gonna believe this, buddy. <sighs> yeah, hello. Yeah, I can help you. John here again. Oh, it's John. I got beef with you. Your people gave me bad info. What you sent us didn't have anything to do with our problem. Oh, excuse me. I'll be sure to tell our friends not to be bothered, Colin. John, John, you, hello? We lost a good client, folks. What was his problem again? He had black mold. Oh, he had black mold. You know what? It could have been a house fly. Homeowners afflicted with house flies commonly report buzzing sounds and thoughts of decay. <laughs> thoughts of decay. So I'm gonna. Yellow. How can I help? Uh, Twig Sigmund here. Just calling to inform you that uh, your refrigerator's been running loud. For the past 45 to 90 minutes, been running wild. Better head on over and catch it, big fella. Hey, Twig Sigmund, thank you so much for your call. We're gonna have to put you on hold for for a minute here. Um, give me one second. 
What the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> Bro, I want whatever twig Sigmund is smoking. Okay, so we have no calls right now, so let's study a bit. So cockroaches are new. Interesting. Do you think John would... I, 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 I th oh, yeah. Yeah, well, how can I help? Hey, do you guys have a lawn mowing service or something? No. My good for nothing kid refuses to mow and it's getting real crazy out there. Looking like a rainforest over here. My kid is complaining about being too sick to do anything about it. Meh, 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 meh. Stress of this stupid lawn's giving me a headache just thinking about it. Can you guys can you send some guys up to get this done? So, Tim, we actually don't. I'm gonna put you on hold, buddy. Thank you for your call. Give me one second. Please hold. That's not my problem. How do I help him? I gotta give him some sort of answer. Carpenter ants? Listen, if we send him, if we send him a box of forty thousand. Alive carpenter ants, they might they might cut the grass. Unique problems requ require unique solutions. A gopher actually is not a bad idea. That's not bad. So we have raccoon, tick, termite. Mole, mice, housefly, spider, gopher. Let's give him the gopher. Thank you for your call, Tim. Good luck with your son. Oh, oh, it could be black mold. Oh. Well, instead of curing his sick son, we just sent a bunch of gophers to his house? Oh, I, hey, not my problem. Shift's over. <coughs> hey, whoever's working tomorrow... Accuracy 50%?! So he's gonna call back with a dead son and a gopher infestation? This is a problem. Alright. Hey, good, 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 good job, good job today, folks. You got an achievement. Oh, we have an email. You, you guys seen this? Quit before it's too late. Unfortunately, I do need the money, so... <sighs> it's a good stuff here. That'll do you in. The worst. I have that in my apartment. Wait, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I was with you for a second. And let me, let me get this straight. Metamorphosis. <laughs> hey, you never know what's out there, really. It's a good, it's, it, it, now we know what to look out for. Right, day two. <laughs> okay, so let's hope that our mess we left uh, on Monday doesn't come back to bite us right now.
So no callers. Nice quiet evening right now. Ah, uh, here we go. Yeah, well. How can I help? Hello, it's Carol again. Hi, Carol. Your supervisor. How are you? I'm calling to let you know that you have been granted access to additional household hazard information. Thank you. Please be Thank aware you. that this information is confidential and not to be shared with anyone outside of HSH. Of course. If you diagnose one of these hazards, we will be providing only information to the clients that is pertinent to addressing their concerns. Can you define Nothing pertinent more. for me? Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. What is she, what? <laughs> okay, so now we have new things, uh, guys, like bats. Ah, they're cute. Uh, bad teeth? Oh, I'm sorry, bed teeth. Uh, okay, okay, hold on. Yellow. I can help. Sorry, I'm a... Bless you. Uh, calling to see if you might know about anything I can do to... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anything you can do to uh, prevent pollen from coming in the house? I think there's something seriously wrong with my ventilation or something, because I cannot stop sneezing. Uh, in the past, I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside, mm -hmm. but I think something is getting in. Mike, I'm gonna have to put you on hold. Uh, I'll be with you in a sec. Please hold. That's why is he sneezing? Also, bed teeth? Oh, that's disgusting. Household fungus growing in small cone like shapes in bed sheets? Oh, Christ. A sour growth? Yo, this game makes me glad I'm not a, a, a homeowner. This is... Common hob is the most common species of hob found in the household. They are small humanoid creatures with gray burlap-like skin and small vertical tufts of hair. Okay. You think he has a common hob running around? Okay, well that's Dobby the elf. False beat? Creatures with beet-like appearance that are known to trick gardeners into harvesting and eating them. All beets are harmless unless eaten by a human, at which point they will take root in the human's stomach and feed off nutrients. Oh, that's... Oh, crap. Okay, frozen pipes is pretty tame. House fire? Okay, well that's... You know, Mike could have a pipe growth. <laughs> Why is he sneezing? I, I I don't know. Stair slug? Oh my god. Dog-sized slug. I mean, he probably has bees, right? Like, he Mike probably had just a simple bee problem. Or carbon monoxide. It aches, dizziness, and lethargy. Okay, well, that's what I have now. It says something about pollen. It has to be bees. They report buzzing or stings. That bees doesn't make sense. It could be bed bugs. Okay, so it's not bat, it's not 
Bed teeth. It could be bed teeth. No. Mold. It could be mold. Mold says breathing problems. Oh, okay, yeah, it's mold. Mike, thank you for waiting. Uh, here you go. It's mold for sure. It's all fun and games until someone has a desk hob. They are capable of metamorphosing. Solution. Desk hobs cannot be removed once they nest. Oh, hold on. Yellow. How can I help? So Tim is Tim's entire family might be dead, but at least they have a gopher on the scene. <laughs> Listen, who knows what it could have been? Who knows what it could have been? Quiet day here, no calls. Thank you for calling. Oh. Do you know if there's such a thing as house thieves that clean? Like, maybe to disguise the robbery? At night, I keep hearing all this noise coming from my living room, uh -huh. but when I go look at it, I find the place spotless, but haven't yet found anything missing. I've talked with the cops, but they keep telling me to call this number. So here I am. Is there something you can do? Yeah, Honeygan. Can I put you on hold for a sec? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, thank you. Please hold. Truly, it's a it's a hob. This is hob behavior. It could be a pipe hob. There's so many hobs. There's a fracture hob. Oh, there are subspecies of hob that are known to cause cracks and fractures. Okay. It's probably a common house hob. They like to tidy their homes. But they only do that in a desk, though. <laughs> to be fair, it could be like a raccoon. Well, the desk hob sounds like this. But it doesn't say the common hob does anything like clean. It just says they have burlap-like skin, and they consume dust. Oh, cleaning them in the process. Okay, ma'am, you have a common hob, it appears. It is a common hob. Good call. Everyone has black mold, and they're all just imagining all this shit because they got sick. <laughs> the only solution. Guys, I've gotten exponentially more itchy since we started playing this. And I'm not gonna lie, bed teeth really did me in. Yellow. How can I help? Yo, Buzz Goober here. I've been having a heck of a time over here. I got these snappers itching and open and crying all over the place. Uh huh. Can you explain? Just all over the place, I got these whippersnappers yelping and whining, and I can't get a wink of sleep. 
Just trying to lay down over here. What you gonna do about all this? Called about 5,500 times. Well, I doubt it, sir. That's, that's, that's a ridiculous amount of phone. All right. Buzz Cooper, thank you for your call. I don't know, it sounds like black mold to me. Stair slug is pretty scary. Yellow. How can I help? I... I don't know what's going on inside my house. I hear something crawling in the wall. Okay, Michelle, calm down. I think I found teeth marks on my bedpost. Oh, well, that's... I can't sleep at night knowing there's something in my house. Help me, please. Michelle, I'll be right with you. Stay calm. Maybe crack open a cold one. And we'll get to the bottom of this. Teeth marks on the bedpost. Use. Okay. Please hold. Teeth marks? Has to be raccoon. Yeah, Michelle, you're going to want to light the house on fire. Gopher has teeth. No. Uh -huh. Termite? Beaver's not an option. It could be termite. Scratching or flapping at night, sightings of small dry pellet droppings. It's not bed teeth. Bed teeth. She said teeth marks. Teeth marks on my bed posts. The bed teeth is in the sheets and it looks like teeth. It's got to be... Yeah, they commonly report gnaw marks. So it's either mice, or it can be the evasive pipe hob. I think it's a mouse, to be honest. Yeah, this game's cool. I'm rocking with it. The pipe growth is wild, dude. Yellow. How can I help you? Don't tell me it's a hob now. Yeah, hey, I'm calling about a noise I've been hearing in my house lately. Sounds like scratching or something. Real quiet, so definitely some kind of pest in my walls. I've sent out all kinds of traps, but uh, I thought one worked for a while, but then I started hearing it again this week. I thankfully haven't seen any visible damage or droppings or whatever. All right, Fred, thank you uh, for your call. We'll get to the bottom, 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 bottom of this for sure. Please hold. So, so Fred, all he has is like scratching sounds and that's it? This could be anything. Wait, this unhold song is kind of cool. Yeah, this one's, this one's a little tough. That is... No, because he said there was no pellet dropping, so it can't be bat. It's not bed bug, it's not bed teeth. It's not bees, it's not black mold, it's not CO2. Maybe Fred is losing his mind because he's inhaling CO in dangerous amounts. No. 
It's not a sour growth. It's not cockroaches. It, no, it, no, it could be a common hob. Go for a housefly. Honestly, nothing makes sense. Maybe raccoon. It could be mice again as well. No visible damage, no droppings. All he has is something really quiet and scratching. It's not mole. What if it's actually just mice again? But termites don't make scratching noises. Report seeing peeling paint, small holes in the drywall or squeaky boards. Dude, I really don't know about this. It actually might just be mice. Mice are so cute. Want to hint? Sure. Maybe he's losing his mind. He must be losing his mind. So Fred, we're going to go ahead and diagnose you with... A fever? You know what? It might be carpenter ants. A faint rustling noise. It actually might be carpenter ants. Like, no joke. And they sound like scratching. Wow, cla classic ant infection. Anyway, Fred, so I've sent you this email. Wow, already phone. Uh, <clears throat> Yellow. How can I help? Do you guys handle security? I need home security installed. Someone's breaking into my house and going through all my stuff at night. Right now. I know it's Bob from accounting. He's always been envious of me. Bob. I know what you're doing, Bob. Going through my papers, taunting me with your organization skills. I need your best home security equipment. Pronto! Dan? I appreciate the passion. We're gonna have to put you on hold here. And go easy on Bob. The divorce has really been putting him through the ringer, alright? Please hold. I don't know if it's a desk cob, though, because a desk cob organizes, but only in the desk. Breaking into my house and going through my stuff. Oh. It has to be a desk cob. Yeah. Desk cob, final answer. All right, Dan, best of luck, buddy. Hundred percent accuracy. Wait, I'm goaded. I demand a raise next time I speak to Carol. That's pretty good. The ants one was the hardest one. Oh, wait, there's a new broadcast. What is this? Ah, real estate update.
$84,000? Really? Okay. Hmm. I don't know. The, 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 the front yard looks a bit neglected there. For 100,000 bones. That is a beautiful home. I would like to buy that home. That would be two million dollars nowadays. Community alert. A civil authority has issued a missing persons alert for the following counties. Bush County, Maple County, Parkway County, Berry County. This is a missing persons alert. Authorities are currently looking for missing child Robbie Parker, male, brown hair, approximately four feet tall, last seen wearing a yellow shirt, brown shorts, and white tennis shoes. Suspect is described to be approximately six feet tall, barefoot, wearing a large bush or shrub on their person. Fortnite? Last seen at approximately 10.25 a.m. Please report any unusual activity to your local authorities. Cool. So that was Oh, 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 oh. Oh, all these emails I didn't see. Responders with 90% accuracy will qualify to receive daily employee coupons. You may notice some video files on the desktop. Disregard these, they will be cleaned up. Quit before it's too late. You don't know me, but I used to have your job. You are in danger. Quit today before it's too late. You don't know enough. It's not too late to quit freely. Trust me. They gave you access to more info, didn't they? I warned you. If you end up like me, log into this hole. Join me in this hole. They haven't found me yet. It's a safe... It's safe there. So Mike is inviting me into his hole. You may experience some network errors in the next few days. You'll still be expected to provide accurate answers to callers regardless of network status. Oh, your high accuracy today has awarded you a daily coupon. Today's coupon is for a used horseshoe. Oh, th thanks. Three dollars off. Just what I wanted. <laughs> Wednesday. Walking in. Okay, so we need these daily coupons. I'd love to get like 8% off on like a rusty nail tomorrow. Okay, quiet morning, no calls yet. Maybe we'll get a, uh, a seller growth. That is, that is disgusting. Thank you for calling the Home Safety Hotline. How can I help you? Carol! Hello! Supervisor Carol here again. Hey! We've updated your permissions. You should now have access to more extensive information to work with for your future calls. Please be sure to read these new entries carefully so you can continue providing our clients with accurate diagnoses. Of course. Please remember that this information is strictly confidential and not to be shared with anyone unless pertinent to a caller's needs. Right. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bye bye, Carol. All right, what do we have? We have false artifact, which is a seemingly human designed object that can manifest suddenly inside of a home. Ah.
Should a child or pet be left alone with a false artifact, they are at risk of being encased within. Oh. Thank you for calling the Home Safety Hotline. How can I help you? There's something in the basement. I've seen it. It's huge. Almost as big as my dog. It doesn't hiss or growl or anything, but I haven't gone close enough to it to find out what it is since it's always just lurking out of sight from the top of the stairs. I need someone to come get this thing out of my basement as soon as possible. I've locked the door since I can still hear the steps creaking under its weight down there. So, David, you probably have what, 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 what we call a stair slug, but I'll double check and, and, and get back to you. Please hold. It could be a mirror nymph. No, this makes sense. Oh, there's so much. Memory wisps are known for removing memories from a home. Holy shit. Tea sprite, a toilet hob. And a unicorn fungi, that is a dog. Oh, it's a rare fungus that is that grows on the head of furry animals. They often affect the animal's disposition, causing them to be drawn to the soil. Interesting. Oh, and there's whistling fungi. Yeah, that's cute. If they ever sing in harmony, evacuate your home immediately. Wine sprites consume wine. Small, large-eyed winged creatures with translucent skin. And they have a long proboscis that they use to drink. Sheesh. Wood secretions are viscous liquid substance that can sometimes cause a sticky pool wing build. Well, that could get confused with False rose bush? These creatures have two small humanoid feet that they use to chase down prey. They report missing pets or children. They're incredibly dangerous as their diet consists of small mammals. They are fast and efficient hunters. Okay, well that is terrible. And then last but not least, we have Bogart. General term for a metamorphosed hob. They are large, hairy, humanoid creatures, six to seven feet tall, bare, barely convincing false faces. They observe their targets while they sleep, and they cause flooding fires and outages. No. Nope. Due to their malicious nightly household activities, they can cause injury or death. Okay, so he for sure... Sorry, I forgot David was on the phone. He for sure has a, a stair... Slug. Sorry, I thought there was a hob in my room. It doesn't growl or hiss. I can hear. St st I can still hear the steps. It's got to be this. Yeah, but wouldn't he? But wouldn't he hear like the slimy noise of it? I mean, what else could it be, bro? Really? It has to be this. David, thank you for waiting.
I'm kind of glad I don't own a home. Like, these things are harrowing. Yeah, well, thank you for calling the home safety hotline. Hey, uh, I've been hearing some really weird noises coming from the bathroom faucet recently. Uh -huh. I'm not sure what it could mean. It just makes this nasty sound anytime I run it, along with this, uh, nasty smell. Okay, Peter, um, that could be a pipe hob. Uh, we'll double check. Please hold it. Uh, they don't cause a bad smell, though. They don't make any bad smell. Weird noises coming from the faucet. Weird noises coming from the faucet, and it could be a nasty smell. It could be a pipe growth. It could be a pipe growth, but they don't make a bad smell. I mean, it could be anything. It's it could. It's not. A, it's not bed teeth. It's not bees. It's not black mold. It's not a bog art. It's not a desk hob. It's not a false artifact. It's not a false beat. It's not a false rose bush. It's not a fracture hob. It could be frozen pipes. Strange smells banging and whistling. It could be frozen pipe. Strange smell. Banging and whistling. And I'm going frozen pipe, final answer. Peter, thank you so much for your call. We'll be seeing ya. Hob on my knob. Oh, sorry. Kick my mic. YouTube, do you have... Oh. YouTube, one second. Yellow. Thank you for calling the home safety hotline. My wife. I can't. Her face. Sorry. Who? It's gone. It's gone. My wife. Sir. I can't see her face. I can't see her face. She's dead. And I can't see her face. They're all gone. It's all gone. Sir, give us one second. Please hold. <coughs> Excuse me. What could this possibly be? His name is Quaid. It could be carbon monoxide, to be honest. But his wife is dead. Memory wisp. Inability to remember faces of loved ones. Yep. Mirror Nymph. What was Mirror Nymph? Stealing the likeness of homeowners and passerby. Their small faceless voidless. Uh, interesting. Faceless voiceless humanoids carrying a large mirror that they beckon others to look into. Homeowners afflicted with by Mirror Nymphs off. Often report not being able to recognize their own face. It's gotta be Memory Wisp, though. I'm gonna go Memory Wisp, final answer. 
And if we're wrong, then it's his problem. Thank you for your call. Best of luck. The bed teeth is upsetting me to a ridiculous degree. <laughs> Yellow, thank you for coming home safety hotline. Hey, yeah, my name's Fred Pinball. I'm calling to lodge a complaint against your place of business. Up there. Fred? I have never seen such a big old mess left behind by your pest control team. Just tons of twigs, sticks, and pebbles. Saw it, and I ain't putting up with it no more. I got sawdust coming out of my drawers here. I'd have grabbed you by the goober and smack you around till next Sunday. Fred, that's a, that's a <laughs> physical thing. What you gonna do? What you gonna do to make this right? It's got to be black mold. All right. Well, good thing he hung up and we didn't have to deal with that. Everyone, hey, home safety hotline. How can I help you? Uh, hi. Hey. I uh have no idea what's happening. My sheets are growing nasty sharp things on them and my legs itch Those like are bed, crazy. Those are bed teeth. Do I need to be showering more often or something? Probably. I usually shower like once a week for my skin health, so maybe that's it? You know what, Harvey? That 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 might be it. Uh and you got you you, you have bed teeth. Please hold. Thank you for your call. Go take a shower. We'll be seeing you. Oh, easy shift tonight, huh? So, Harvey, you might have what we call a stinky. Now, that, that was suspiciously too easy. Name calling Home Safety Hotline, how can I help you? Hello? I was told to call this number to ask about my problem. Okay. The wall in my bedroom doesn't look great near the bottom. The bottom of the wall has some cracks, or maybe it's peeling. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I have a cat named Whiskers, and sometimes he likes to sharpen his claws at the couch. But he would never do that to the wall. He knows just how naughty that would be. Okay, um... Now, Wanda, a couple things. Can I put you on hold? And are you free next Friday? I get off at 4. All right, I'll talk to you in a minute. Please hold. Shoot. Cracks. The bottom of the wall has cracks? Uh, it could be anything. She made my pipe grow. No, get get out, get off the screen. It could be a fracture hob. Yeah, it's gotta be, dude. It's gotta be. Scary little devil, isn't he? Nice, quiet on set, no phone calls, nothing. Suspiciously quiet. Think we're in the home city and how can I help you? I had coming from 
my living room, and the info package you sent me said something about leaving out a bowl of cream? What kind of joke is that? Alright, Gary, calm down. It's been a week now that I've been dealing with this racket, no thanks to you, and now we're starting to have power outages. Your employee's <laughs> stupid <laughs> joke is now probably going to cost me who knows how much in repair costs. Gary? So talk to your manager and tell them they owe me big time. Gary, if you could... You figure out what's going on in my house and you figure it out now! Gary, we're going to put you on hold and, and figure this out. All right, thanks, buddy. Please hold. Someone creamed in his apartment? Weird noises in the living room. Something about leaving out a bowl of cream. Power outages. I actually have no idea what this could be. It might be a false artifact. No, it doesn't make sense. I have no idea. I have no clue what this could be. Weird noises in the living room. Last week, and a bowl I of cream? About some weird noises I had coming from my living room. And the info package you sent me said something about leaving out a bowl of cream? What kind of joke is that? It's been a week now that I've been dealing with this racket, no thanks to you. And now we're starting to have power outages. Your employee's stupid joke is now probably going to cost me who knows how much it... Wait, it could be a bog art, but what is bog art... Is it, uh, it, it? I don't know if Bogarts have an affinity for cream. One of the Hobbs was leaving out cream. Oh my God! Hobbs cannot be compelled to leave. One should take measures to prevent provoking metamorphosis by leaving out a bowl of cream or milk at night. Oh, uh, so it was a common hob and now it's metamorphosis. Sir, you have a bog art on your hands. Good luck. We'll be seeing ya. That's scary. So good eye on the cream. 83%. Eh, who cares? It's a B plus. If you put out the cream, I think you would have been okay. It wasn't a fracture hop. Yeah, I figured that one was too. We didn't spend enough time on that one. I'm sorry, so we have new mail. We're excited to introduce our new office pet, Whiskers. Uh, okay. So, Whiskers was Wanda's cat? So this implies, canonically, that me, the player, and Wanda are dating, and she brought the cat into work. Please refrain from picking up or feeding whiskers. Oh, yeah, I'll do my best. What is this? Previously on Science Mysteries. Oh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta learn about this. Mice. One of humanity's oldest friends and oldest enemies. I love him. From the Black Plague to the shelves of our pet stores, 
mice have lived alongside humans for centuries. And just like humans, mice may even be evolving alongside us as well. I love him. This is a mus musculus, otherwise known as the common house mouse. And this is mus musculus loquentis, otherwise known as the smart mouse. A newly discovered species known for its uniquely colored iris, and more importantly, its increased intelligence. Mice have brains smaller than peanuts, and yet, modern science has observed they are capable of thinking quite intelligently. Interesting. And in the case of the smart mouse, perhaps even capable of communication. With the help of modern computer technology, today's scientists have been able to interpret the previously indecipherable squeaks of a smart mouse and have discovered what seems to be hidden messages within. Let's take a listen. No way. What do you think? Is this a wonder of evolution? Or are we just oh, hell no. things that aren't there? Do mice and men have more in common than previously thought? Well, I suppose that's what makes this a science mystery. Yeah, I suppose so. I'm clocking in a work. Thursday. Hundred percent. Here we go. I think we only got one wrong last time. To be fair, I'm expecting a call from Carol immediately. Carol. Thank you for coming home to the outline. Now can I? Oh my God. Hello. Carol. Supervisor Carol here again. I've been watching the closely employee. I'm impressed so far by your dedication to accuracy. I have once again updated your permission so you should have access to more extensive household hazard information. Thank you. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest upon thee. Our eyes rest upon thee? I don't, oh, okay. All right, so new entries. We have the attic. Gnome. Oh boy. <laughs> Thank you for coming home to the outline. How can I help you? I think the map is something wrong with our faucet. Recently, I've been having the worst kind of stomach bug, just aches and pains constantly. Okay. But a month still hasn't gone away, and I'm thinking there's got to be something wrong with the water, because we only eat fresh, homegrown fruits and vegetables here, and we ain't ever had any problems up until now. I keep hearing things about rusted pipes and water poisoning and all kinds of terrible things that can happen to the water. So, can you just send someone out to get this fixed for us? Sure, Ash, give me a sec. Please hold. So, he just has a stomach ache. That's it. All he has is a stomach ache. So the clues are stomach ache and fresh fruit. Which means it has to be the Fay Feast. Which means it has to be the Horde. Holy shit. The Horde is an invisible, odorless collective consciousness that is known to collect and store large quantities of common household reuse. Or refuse. It might be the portal. <laughs> Portals are door-shaped openings to an outdoor location other than the homeowner's discovered. 
Other than the homeowners, discovered most commonly in basements or underground cellars, homeowners with portals frequently report cold drafts, strange dreams, and strong desire to enter. <laughs> oh. Wow, it's like your mother. They're known for burrowing in outdoor planters or gardens. They are known to compel competitors to commit violent acts on themselves or others. Okay, it's for sure a a a, a, a false note, a false um beat. Has to be false beat. Disguising himself as vegetable, digestive issues. Yeah, we'll be seeing you. Sir, you have a parasite inside of your body? <laughs> he was pretty brave about it. What else do we have? Floor roots? Tree-like brown roots that grow upwards. <laughs> if you go to the home studio, how can I help you? Wanda! I followed every instruction your people sent me, but I'm still getting cracks on my wall. I'm sorry. Uh, my daughter is called Pest Control. You have a dog. She told me not to call you anymore <coughs> for help. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Oh. Okay, so. What are we? Interesting. She didn't even want help. What is a faith flu? <laughs> Anyone home say, oh, and I can help you. The police told me to call this number, so I uh, hope I got the right number here. Uh huh. Anyway, uh, I think I think somebody is stalking me. I can see their shadow at night at my window, just staring into the <coughs> house. When I close the window, I can still hear him out there, breathing. I've been sleeping on the couch every night this past week, just so he won't see me. The police said they can't do anything, so please, send somebody or do something about this. I can hardly sleep anymore. All right, Felicia, we'll get to the bottom of this. Please hold First of all, why is the guy from Parks and Rec Okay, so what are the symptoms here? Breathing? She hears breathing and she sees somebody stalking the windows. That I have no idea. It's not a laundry gnome. It could be a night gnome. Oh, here we go. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah, without a doubt. Ma'am, you have a night gnome on your hands. What else is new? Night Wisp is new too. They are known to hover outside windows at night while whispering promises of wealth and good fortune. Need that. Thank you for the home studio. How can I help you? Hello, yes. I believe there may be some kind of problem with our home ventilation. Uh huh. Lately, we've been hearing awful banging noises coming from the ceiling. So that's me and your mom. The air quality seems to have been drastically reduced. Okay. My daughter hasn't been able to stop coughing. All right, Bovinda, we will get back to you. Please hold. Please hold. Banging noises from the ceiling, air quality reduced, and daughter is coughing. So this actually might be an... No. It could be a cellar grotto.
Nah. No. Dust. What is what do you mean dust? Oh, oh, oh. Homeowners infested with attic gnomes will often report knocking or rapping. Knocking or rapping? Imagine you're going to bed and you just hear like I'm Slim Shady, yes, I'm the real Shady. All you other Slim Shadies are just... When frightened, they will violently expel their meals, which will send large quantities of dust particulates into the air. Damn, okay, so it's gotta be this. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, cool. What's up, Zach? Hey, brother, I'm gonna find out can I help you. That sounds about right. Please say you can help. I can help. My, my little boy, Jeremy, has gone missing. He's eight years old and such a sweetheart. The last time I saw him was when I was tucking him into bed last night and checking his messy closet for bees to calm him down. Oh, it's silly, I know, but my poor Jeremy is always so concerned about bees and, and wasps and stuff. <laughs> May, 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 I'm gonna. F oh, please, please, please say you can help me find him. He's all that I have. We'll take care of this. Uh, see you in a bit. Please hold. So, Jeremy is scared of bees. <laughs> and he went missing in bed? A false artifact took him? No, it could be anything. Oh. Should a child be left alone with a false artifact, they are at risk of being encased within. Okay. Gentle buzzing sound. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, he's dead. How do we get him out? Oh, physically moving the object out of the home. Huh. That's easy. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. Should a pet or a loved one already be encased within, one can utilize a memory wisp to speed up the grieving process. So it's too late. So we need to give her a memory wisp, wisp so she forgets about Jeremy. Right? It's a trick question. It's a trick question. That is, that is really sad. So do we submit Memory Wisp, or do we submit False Idol, or False Artifact? I miss him so much. Now that I miss him so much, that I miss him so much is a dead giveaway. I'm gonna go Memory Wisp. It's gotta be, it's a trick question.
The silence is eerie. They will move out of the house once they've stolen away the inhabitants' memories. You're going to the home of I now can help you. Hi. I'm concerned somewhat about the stability of my new home. Mm -hmm. I recently finalized the purchase and naturally afterwards found that there are several large cracks in the walls of the basement that were not previously disclosed. Sorry. As well as several pieces of half-eaten cheese littered across the basement floor. That was me. I haven't been able to get in contact with the previous owners about this, and I'm wondering if you can offer any kind of legal advice. Okay, well, I'm not a lawyer, so... Please hold. <clears throat> Jesus, this could be anything. They can cause foundational problems if they continue to go, to grow unabated. No. The crack goblin? The fracture hob? It is advised to leave out a slice of any kind of cheese each night before going to bed. Yeah, but here's the thing. At one point, it was a fracture hob, but are we at Bogart territory right now? He might be dead. Interesting. It could be uh, fuck it, black mold. I feel good about fracture hub. It could be a bogart, I guess. Alright. YouTube, what problems do you have in your house? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll do my best to help. Thursday afternoons, a quiet time at the HSA, H, F, H, H, H. You're on the home street offline, how can I help you? Is that Gub? Gub Rubber here, I need to place an order of 60 gallons of orange drink here. We don't do that, sir. I got a big old party I'm setting up here at the studio, and we're going to need that orange drink to, uh, too many mouths to feed, you know yeah. what I mean? I, I, and I need that orange drink to feed my brew. I was like, I thought y'all still got that cheesy greaser. It's too Can many we, mouths. Uh, maybe the uh, uh, pepper squeeze. Don't tell me you don't got the pepper squeeze. Sir, we, 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 we sold out of the pepper squeeze last... drink I think I think I, th I think that's the end of our shift false rose bush oh that's scary man They run over the other line, I can help you. Hey, so my doctor told me I should call this number. Uh huh. I have no idea why. He won't tell me anything. He said you could help, so here goes nothing, I guess. Uh huh. Um, so I've recently been having just the worst headaches, and just barely I woke up and felt my eyes were starting to look. 
kind of pink. I'm really freaked out right now, and I'm not sure what I have. I can't find anything online. Can you help me? Yeah, Phil, we'll be right with you. Please hold. So, Phil has a case of what we like to call the fit. Network error? Description network error. Danger network error. Oh, oh dear, dear lord. It has to be Faith Flu though, right? I gotta memorize these things now? It's gotta be Faith Flu. It's gotta be Faith Flu. Bill, best of luck, Godspeed. Take two, call me in the morning. Dude, this, this is tough. I didn't read all of them. <laughs> A router hub. Hey everyone, home safety outline, how can I help you? Ma'am? Ma'am? So remember when we gave her the memory? Okay, so so I don't understand what happened there. What did I do wrong? Think we're gonna save the hotline now? Can I help you? Hey, Kyle. You gotta tell me what's going on inside my home, okay? I'm freaking out over here! There's holes all over my freaking house, man! Freaking holes! I'm stepping around big wooden splinters! There's no telling how much damage there is! Okay, so it could be heck- I've got this big gaping one in my kitchen that I have no idea how freaking deep it goes! Yeah, I've got a big gaping one- To top it all off, my skittish little greyhound goblin is nowhere to be found! She probably took off after seeing this mess. Okay, so- I need help. So, so it's probably Hector Zeroni from the movie. Him and Stanley Yelnats. Probably it was a joint effort. We'll be right with you, Kyle. Hold on. Please hold. It's for sure the unicorn thing. I gave her info on the memory wisp. I thought it was a trick question, man. Unidog. Oh, the internet's back. I feel bad that Jeremy died. But like, I tried to help her out. I said, take two of these wisps, call me in the morning. Hey, everyone, that was the offline. We're closing soon. Make it quick. All right. I'm going to need someone to explain what in the name of Christmas is happening to my living room. I'm back from vacation, and the house is already turning into a disaster not 24 hours later. And my living room is absolutely covered in soil and plants. Looks like a gosh darn nursery in there. What is happening is... <laughs> Is this what happens when you buy a bad rug or something? When you buy a bad rug. Okay, Jackie, no, but we'll figure this out. Please hold. So guys, this is what we like to call a cellar grotto. No, you know what it is? You know what this is? This is a gnome. I've heard of this before. It's this one. Yeah. It will create expansive gardens inside new homes, leaving soil plants and outdoor pests in their wake. 
Has to be this. Alternatively, it'd be a seedling. Which causes violent acts of... Nah, it's trouble now. Jackie, we'll sort this out. Thank you for your call. I think that was a good shift. I got one wrong and it was the, uh, it was Jeremy. You're going to home to offline, how can I help you? There's something, there's something in my basement. I don't know what it is. Is it boxes? All I know is when I open my basement door, it smells like a damn sewer and I can hear it making all kinds of horrible noises. It sounds like there might be a lot of water down there too. I don't know what it might be doing down there, it, but I have a feeling it's causing a whole lot of damage. It could be your mother. Please, send somebody to help with this. I can't deal with something like this. Alright, Larry, we'll figure this out. Please, hold. Something in the basement. It smells bad. It makes noise and a lot of water. Now, this could be a... No, it's not this. Bad smell coming from the basement. High humidity. Beetles, frogs, and pests. For safety, bring spelunking and snorkeling equipment on your excursion. Or consider using H SH's grotto removal team. It might be grotto, right? Have we considered the possibility that it might be black mold and Larry is losing his mind? Nothing else makes sense, really. Has to be grotto. Nothing else makes sense. There's been a lot of calls today. Oh, 88%. I think we got one wrong, genuinely. We almost got the discount. That's not bad, that's passing grade. I'm a dead child, fortunately. Um, okay, so we have a new email. Uh, the hole has been breached. I repeat, the hole has been breached. It is not safe, must find a new spot. Oh, that's Whisker. Oh, Whisker's found the hole. Due to a shortage of staff, we wanted you to come to work on Saturday and Sunday. I, oh. I don't know about all this. All right, here we go. Friday. Oh. I'm clocking in. Yeah, the cat eye. I didn't notice it either. So Ca Carol probably has something new for me. We've unlocked all the entries except for three of them. Oh, there's a lot. There's actually... Anybody want to do that one? How can I help you? Carol, just the person I wanted to talk to. Hello. Supervisor Carol here. 
Thine accuracy continues to impress those of us above and below the soil. Thine accuracy. I have updated your permissions once more. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest soundly upon thee. I don't, I don't, what is this? What is this? That those of those of us uh, as above, so below the soil. I, uh, Carol. Uh, maybe she's a false artifact. Rain nymph. Ain't humanoids with glows in their eyes that often appear near windows, asking to be invited. You know what I'm saying? I'll find. I can help you. There were Satan worshippers in my shed. I'm sorry about that, man. Patrice, thank you so much for your call. We'll get to the bottom of this. Please hold. Okay, so symptoms. Tree growing in the shed, covered in fabric and black liquid. Sprig trees are growing tree-like orgasms. Organisms that takes root in the human body. They're caused structural damage. Hmm, I don't think it's that. Quickly consume a house and block off exits. No. Soap Sprite. Consume bacteria and harmful microbes. Occupy bathrooms appearing similar to pink bars or so. Trash no we don't have anything oh my gosh it could be a false flower a dream weaver spider like creature that weaves dreams into reality they also are known to cause nearby humans to only dream about everything covered in webs. It can lead to increased anxiety. Closet labyrinth, network of tunnels known to occasionally appear inside the closets or wardrobes of wealthy homeowners. Sound of distant cries and missing clothes. Okay, so what is this one? Animation! Miniature humanoid figures such as dolls, puppets, or marionettes that are capable of moving on their own. Homeowners with animations most commonly report hearing clattering noises at night. What's the difference between that and a hob, though? <coughs> Excuse me. All right, what's her problem? Tree in the shed. Torn fabric. I mean... Floor roots? Oh no, cleaning, true. Her son has been missing for days. Also, rosebush, yeah, but the rosebush only. Kobold is a five foot tall humanoid creature with a dog like face known to burrow in dark rooms. Never enter a kobold's domain. This doesn't make sense because a teenager isn't like a child. And it has black goo and, like, fabric, torn fabric. Yeah. It's not a house fire. It 
It's not a wandering gnome. It's not a memory. It's not a mice. It's not mirror nymph. It's not a mole. It's not a night gnome. It's not a wisp. It's not a pipe. It's not a pipe. Little raccoon. Sprig tree. Yeah. Yeah, that's that. That makes sense. They don't make like a black the infected person black substance that leaks from them under any circumstance. Holy shit. Her son is a tree. That was the first one we read too, I missed that part. Then around the home saying, Oh why not can help you? Hey, Robert. Hey, I called last week about some noises in my house. I remember. And after following the instructions you sent me, they still seem to be happening. I already told you guys what was happening, but uh, the short story is that every night I'm hearing clattering noises coming from the kitchen. In the morning, I usually check the kitchen for any signs of droppings or whatever, but the place looks spotless. Can you please tell me what's actually happening so I can get some sleep? Yeah, Robert, we'll get to the bottom of this. Please hold Clattering from the kitchen. The place is spotless. Now this could be a trash gnome. Oh, never mind. They can spread tetanus to humans. One of them hobs, I reckon. The hobs, I don't know. Because there's pipe hob, right? Fracture hob. It's not hob. It could be a common hob, but that seems like so unlikely. And they want cream. This game is pretty cool, yeah. It's making me itchy, though. I don't think it's common. I don't think it's common at all, but... No. The dishes. Clattering from the kitchen. That's it. Clattering from the kitchen. Homeowners with animations most commonly report clattering noises. That's it, uh, but it... Uh, but it does clatter, though. It's not bees, it's not black mold, it's not a bog art. It, it could be black mold. Losing his mind. Common hob or am I weird? Could you have a good night, dude? Nothing makes sense. Sprite feeds off tea, uh, tea leaf residue, spreads diseases, yada yada. 
It's gotta be a common hob, I guess. Nothing else makes sense. I thought it was gonna be something different. I don't remember his first phone call, uh, also. That was the ant guy. You're gonna know if y'all are not gonna help you. Yes, hi. I recently purchased from your company one of your home security installation services. Uh -huh. And not a week later, I'm still getting break-ins. As I mentioned prior, someone has been breaking into the greenhouse and taunting us with their singing. They could be some insane serial killer, for all we know. All they do is sing at night, but no one in my family feels safe anymore. None of your stupid security alarms. Whoa, watch off. it, Pamela. So singing. Please hold. Singing from the greenhouse? I mean, this could be... break in. <laughs> oh. Someone has been breaking into the greenhouse. Nah, it's not this. The false flower does make sense. Homeowners often report faint singing, and this would be in the greenhouse, right? This makes sense. Oh, that's the noise we're looking for. Yep, yippee. The Mario jump sound. Good call. You're going to host a Dow now, can help you. You're going to host a Dow now, can help you. Hi, Flipper. Hey, Flipper here. I got two dumbbells that I bought from you that need a good spit shine. Know what I mean? A spit shine. These bells have got all kinds of. Grime, grease. Can't even see my face in them when I'm deadlifting. Know what I mean? I mean, I'm looking at these bells right now here. I'm seeing the uh, spit, crud, and juice. And, uh... Juice. Hey, who, who are you? How did you get in? Hey, now, now easy there. Get away. Get away. That's awesome. So he's dead. Maybe they're all bog arts. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold that thought. You want to see how I can help you? Hello, Supervisor Carol here. Oh my God, hi. I noticed that you've been experiencing regular disruptive calls from caller with ulterior motives. Yeah. I've seen to it that this false caller shall no longer be a blight upon me. Keep up the good work, employee. I'm sorry, did you say a blight upon thee? Carol? Carol got him whacked. All right, let's try and memorize these before the internet goes out. Here's 
Ik ben een van de kraal bij jou. I saw this big, nasty thing fly in through the window, and I haven't been able to find it anywhere. But I, I think maybe it electrocuted itself somewhere because I can smell this awful burning scent throughout the house. House fire, sir. Ru can someone come find this thing and get it out of my house? Andy, are you sure? Stop, drop, and roll. Please hold. <laughs> big nasty thing fly through the window. Awful burning. Move through the window, awful burning. That's how we got bat. Oh god, we have a network error. Oh god. I don't know. Housefly? No one has called about acid rain yet, no. I mean, it's gotta be house fire, right? It's gotta be house fire. Nothing else makes sense. Better safe than sorry. But we we have to diagnose the problem, not the not the not the. Like he would know if there was a fire, right? Like he would know if there was a fire. Or maybe it's black mold, and Andy is losing his mind. God, okay, I guess house fire. Is the internet still down? Oh Christ. They're going home to Alvin, I can help you. Hey Albert. Okay, Albert. Please hold. Guys, this is what we like to call a. For sure, we like to. I, 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 I'm floor roots. Fake object makes no sense. Because the, the, the false artifact doesn't have roots. Hazard for human children? Said who? Sprig vines? No. Yeah, no, I'm... Yeah, that was my first thought, but... Strangle children while they sleep. Ah, that doesn't make sense, though. Tendrils. Tendrils. Oh, 
I don't think it's roots. The pollution of the roots sounds like what the guy describes as happening. Or roots require something to wrap around. So Albert used his daughter to get rid of the roots. Yeah, nothing else is tendrils, really. But the, but the, but the roots don't drag the daughter into another realm. It could be black mold, and he's losing his mind. Nothing else makes sense. This is hard. This I don't get this. It took my daughter. It took my daughter. She she's gone. It wrapped its awful tendrils around her and took her down with it. I saw it with my own eyes. Please send help. The police won't do anything. Send help. What if it's a kobold dog? <laughs> the only thing that makes sense is. roots and nothing else makes sense. Best of luck, Albert. Yeah, roots was my first guess, but it's not dragging, so like, I don't know, maybe... He's hallucinating that he has a daughter and it's actually black mold. Anyone want to say, alright, I can help you. Andy, the house fire bit you? Am I gonna die? It's back! Get away, you STC! So it you got bit by a house fire. Now we know it's a lamp spray, but at the time. Causing a burning smell in the home. It was a lamp spray we fumbled historically. It was a lamp spray. You're going to tell me and I can help you. It, 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 it stole me. It stole me. I'm, I'm not me anymore. I'm, it, 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 it took me. It took me. I can't see myself anymore. I'm gone. Help me. Help get me back, please. Helen, we'll be right with you after these messages. Please hold. Okay, so this is what we call a mirror nymph, right? Because the mirror nymph actually steals the likeness of the homeowner, and they report not being able to recognize their own face. Has to be. True. They could. They, they could just be black. There, there's just a massive black mold problem in this town, and uh, that's it. It's kind of scary. Thanks so much for calling the home safety hotline. I can help you. 
homeless or druggies might be in my house because I keep finding used needles, cans, metal scrap, and other such nasty Ramona, that's things the on horde? my living room carpet. That's the horde. I have children in this house, and this is a very serious hazard to their health. And before you say anything, the... yes, I already called the police, and they told me to call this number instead. So I assume that you will send over the proper authorities to deal with this matter promptly. E we sure will. Please hold. This is the horde because, as you guys remember, the horde likes to store vast quantities of trash, syringes, rusty metal. Easy clap. Has to be. Is it Friday or Saturday? In the game, I don't know. Thank you for the outline. I can help you. Yeah, is there some kind of home security camera I can purchase from you guys? For the last few nights, we haven't gotten any sleep thanks to some punks outside with flashlights or something. Someone keeps flashing these bright lights through our windows at night, but I haven't been able to see who's doing it. I want to catch them on camera so I can finally bust these stupid teens for all they're worth. Wow. So, oh, Maple, it sounds like... Please hold. Oh, so this is easy, guys. Uh, we've seen this before. It's the... Uh... I think it's the Night Wisp, right? But he didn't mention anything about whispers of good health and fortune, good wealth and fortune. <clears throat> it has to be this. <laughs> Nothing else makes sense. It has to be Night Wisp. Bro's name is Maple. Gotta be Canadian. All right. Oh. Thanks, Mr. Grand Lab City. I'm not gonna help you. Hey, uh, so. I think I found some kind of door. That's a portal. I feel like maybe I should step through it. No, honey, don't do that. Yeah. No. I think. No. I think I need to go inside. No. The wind feels so. Okay, so, ma'am, please take ten steps back. Please hold. So, as you guys remember, the portal, uh, strong desire to enter, right? <laughs> Hopefully, by the time she gets this information, she's not, <laughs> doesn't stepped through. Interesting. Easy shift. No problems. Wait, remember the mice that said help me? I forgot about the I think it's much on the home safety out, why not can help you? This might like sound strange, but I think there's some kind of like squid or something in my bathroom. Like, I went into the bathroom in the middle of the night last night, you know, and I could see something slithering under, near the sink, with its, like, uh, little tentacles or, like, tendrils, or, you know, whatever. But when I turned on the lights, nothing was there. <laughs> I checked under the towel, like, under, you know, like, that little soap thing yeah. and everything. Yeah, uh -huh. Like, I know it's somewhere. Like, it's too freaking big to have gone down the drain still gotta be hiding in here okay jules uh you might be high on lsd please hold i don't know bathroom squid
He's not a slug, right? No, that doesn't make any sense. If, is it a pipe hob, perhaps? No. It's not roots either. Tendrils again. False flower, false beat, faith, feast, dream weaver, desk hob coming. What if it's carbon monoxide? And he's insane. Tentacles. I, I I'm stuck. I don't know what it, I don't know what it would be. So sprite was was a thought too, but it just says they occupy bathrooms. They secrete a suds-like substance. I don't know. It's not pipe growth. Pipe growth doesn't make any sense. See something slithering under the sink, but then when I turned the lights on, it was gone. Wait, wait, Hob, no. I really don't know. This is actually tough. He's got to be losing it. He's losing it. Oh, I just noticed the eyes. Oh, and it might be black mold, legit. Well, Jules said, I turned on the lights, nothing was there. I checked under the towel, under the little soap thing, and it's not there. It might would just be black mold. I have no idea. I have no clue. Nothing has tentacles. It's a problem. Soap Sprite is like the closest thing, but I don't think that's it. are uh roots that eat kids it's got to be soap spray ninety percent that's actually not bad considering that we definitely got one wrong Oh my god. Sick. Yippee! Hello, if you're receiving this email, it's because you've been emailed by this address before. Is this longer registered to an employee? Thank you, Mike. Oh my god.
God, guys, the hag hide is on sale. Not sure I want that. <laughs> Thanks, though. Oh, a new video just dropped. Great American Heights. Rest prepared. water what's next an iron sword now we're talking Enjoy the view. Well, that was harrowing, to say the least. Here we go. Wait. Did you see the 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 girl on the desktop background? Walking in. Walking in. All right, so any second now, Carol is gonna make my hotline bling. Carol, how's it going? Park employee, lend thine ear once more. 
Supervisor Carol here again. Lend thine ear. I've updated thy permissions to grant thee access to all relevant household hazard information. Continue thy labors, employee. Soon thy time in the soil arriveth. Prepare thy body. Now hold the phone. My time in the soil arriveth? Girl, it's my weekend. Now prepare thy body. Oh, Carol, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, Carol. Bed hag. Large humanoid creature with an elderly woman-like appearance. Need. I'm good. Thanks for showing them today. Hotline, how can I help you? Some kind of animal has gotten into my cellar. Uh -huh. I know it's down there because I can hear it flapping around sometimes when the house is quiet. Bat. Tell me what to do to get rid of this thing because I think it's getting into all my Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays. I found a whole bunch of broken bottles on the floor. Stupid thing is probably getting loaded. All right, Brett, we'll go, oh, one second. Please hold. This is a wine sprite. But what about the flapping noise, though? So what is a warlock remnant? Oh. What is a troll? Oh shit. Twelve foot tall nocturnal creatures. Do not ever approach a troll. Property damage? Missing clothes? Deflate their bodies to fit inside homes. Girl, huh? We have so many new things, dude. Reanimation? Oh, Jesus. That's a... Okay. Deceased remains of living creatures. Girl, that's a skeleton. Uka? Oh, wait. I kind of... He's cute. Neighbor's doorway. Par parallelism. Resulting parallelism can often result in unwanted household activities such as altered behavior. A leprechaun? A dorcha? Feelings of immense dread and sensation of being followed or pursued. Orcha is the one who delivers. The guy who brought me my bajotwe yesterday? Some kind of animal has gotten into my cellar. It might be... Flapping kind of at night. I mean, flapping, flapping means bat, but then it says cellar, which is probably wine sprite. So like, what's up? It could be bats guzzling it down. Oh no, she said, I think it's getting into my Pinot Noir because I found a bunch of broken bottles. It's not a sprite. No, no, it doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. It's... 
Ah, fine. Fine. All she found was broken bottles, though. It could have just been a bat flying into bottles, right? Winged creatures, yeah, yeah. I guess. Makes sense. Thanks so much for calling the home I can help you. Hi, Ruth. So, uh, I, I think something may have died inside my desk. Okay. It stinks to high heavens, and something is leaking out of it. I have to lock the door to my office since my kids are overly curious about the smell, so I need to know what to do about this as soon as possible. Okay, so Ruth, here's the thing. Please hold. They would secretion for sure. Next. Black mold, right? Yeah, he's gone insane. Um, we've unlocked all the things now, though, which is really sick. Thanks for showing them. Say, oh, wait, now can I help you? I think there's someone watching me. Outside, something is moving around in the trees, and I can never get a good look at them. But I know they're out there. I've seen their eyes. I don't know who they are, but the police were no help. Classic. They just asked me stupid questions like if I mowed my lawn recently or if I ate fruit in public or something and told me to call you. Hoping you'll be more helpful. Please hold. This is a Spriggan. Because Spriggans, as you guys know, are inside of trees and they f and people report that the trees are watching them. Right? Also, yes, you're correct. The foul odor of a wood secretion is a candy-like smell to kids. It has to be a spriggan. Oh, what's a sprig tree, though? Hold on, there's two. No, it's not that. I would love to have a uh, just a common house spider. Oh, I can help you. My brother told me to call this number, uh -huh. but I don't know why. Things have never been better around here. My brother says he doesn't like the way the leaves move, the way they grow around the house like a warm embrace. Things are good here, brother. Things are good. Would you tell my brother that things are good? Things are good. Please hold. Uh, the game, I assume the game ends when you finish the sh Sunday shift, which is tomorrow. Uh, the leaves grow around like a warm embrace. No, no, no. Gorcha, maybe? Oh, feelings of immense dread? No, 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 no. Not Kakarosh, not Labyrinth. Not bees, not bed hag, not bed bugs, not a bat. Not a gnome, not a autumn vines, maybe. Hold on. Here we go. Homeowners with autumn vines often report feeling dizzy, lightheaded, or blissful. It has to be this. She's high on that autumn vine type beat. Thank you, Jay. Imagine someone calls, hey, there's a 12 foot creature outside. An active troll will leave once it has secured its bounty. Me and Fortnite. Thanks for showing those y'all, I now can help you. Got here? 
Nope. I'm... I I'm not where I should be. Please, I was told that you could help me. My family. They aren't my family. I, I don't know what's happened. Uh, please tell me how to get back to my family. Please hold. Now guys, what we have here is a classic case of the neighbor's doorway. So it appears that Jill went through the neighbor's doorway. Right? It has to be. Right? Nothing else makes sense. Parallelism. I mean, technically, hold on. This person... Hi. Do you know how I got here? I'm... Yeah, honey, from a raid? Yes. Yes, you were in Julia's. You got here from a raid. Neighbor's doorway. I think I identify as a bed hag. Can you diagnose me? That sounds about right. Are you an elderly uh, a humanoid creature with a woman-like appearance by chance? Do you dwell beneath the beds? Oh, wait, how can I help you? I'm sorry, that was... And when I looked to see what it was, I saw this awful, disgusting pile of crap on my dinner table. Oh my... It's quite big, too, which has me worried that whatever produced this might still be in the house. Because who knows how big this thing is. I mean, my dog can't even lay down something that big. Claire, am I to understand somebody took a shit? Please hold. Please hold. Okay, so the symptoms are rotten eggs, pile of crap on the dinner table. <laughs> There's caca and wee whiz in the kitchen. Okay, so it could be a fey feast. I think she means crap like like caca and wee whiz, to be honest. I don't know. Maybe it's a kobold, perhaps. Dog-like face. Nah, 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 nah. Do leprechauns shit? Trash gnomes often report smell of rotten eggs. It doesn't say anything about making caca and wee whiz, though. Yeah, but there's no wee whiz. Because she said... Pile of crap. Yeah, the, the eggs give it away though, I think. I think it's trash gnome. Yeah, she might have meant crap as in like stuff. Yeah, Fay Feast was my first guess, but Fay Feast. Like flower and fungi. And it says that it's a. It's a sign of a hospitable presence. Presence, rather. It should be consumed immediately to prevent provoking or offending the gift. This is really me often. How can I help you? Hey, yeah, Paul here. Um, I'm not sure what to do anymore. Uh, my kids can't sleep at night. I've been spraying about yeah. different kinds of Paul, Paul, you all over the place, washed and scrubbed all the bed sheets as much as freaking possible. And every night it's the same story. Bunch of edgy kids with nightmares waking up at 4 a.m. and begging to sleep in Papa's bed. I'm fresh out of ideas. Okay, so, all right, Paul, we'll get to the bottom of the. Please hold. So, Paul's kids are itchy. I've been spraying 50 kinds of pesticides. Every night, a bunch of itchy kids with nightmares waking up at 4 a.m. Bed bugs would be too basic. I don't 
think it's bed teeth. It could be eczema. You got eczema? Bed teeth? They would have slimy acidic residue though. No, because hear me out. What if it's black mold and Paul has gone, he's past the point of insanity and he's imagining that he has two kids. It could be black mold. It, Dreamweaver was my, was my other guess, to be honest. Large spider-like creature known to weave dreams into reality. Oh, that is that is harrowing to say the least. Oh, bed hag. Human adults. Shortness of breath. You know what's interesting though to me is that he says kids with nightmares waking up at 4 a.m. Bed bugs, but bed bugs wouldn't wake you up at 4 a.m. though. You know what I mean? We've developed a resistance to the majority of pesticides. Oh, uh, okay, that's true. Resistance to pesticides gives it away, you're right. He's just gonna say, oh, now I can help you. Okay, you wanna explain to me what the hell is happening? I called last week to ask why my home heater has been having issues, and nothing's changed after following the instructions you sent me. Uh huh. Uh, be quiet. I know your teeth hurt, but daddy's on the phone right now. Anyway. We're still freezing our butts off over here. So tell me what the hell is happening right now so I can get this fixed properly. All right, Charles. Um, Please hold. Yeah, he told his, told his kid to shut up. Okay, so... The heater is having issues. His kid's teeth hurt. Broken heater, child's... Maybe the child was... Chewing the heater. <laughs> now, the real question is what time did he notice this problem, right? Because I'd be curious to know if this happened around 2 30. Tooth, tooth, third, tooth, hurdy. Tooth hurdy. <laughs> All right, focus. <gasps> Opercons can occasionally cause direct harm to humans in cases where homeowners have metallic medical implants such as braces, crowns, or joint replacements. So the kid has braces and the leprechaun is stealing the braces. Doesn't make sense at all. There's no way. No, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, do you want to explain to me what the hell is happening? It's like a baby, like a baby with braces. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Um, do they damage heaters too? Long-term damage to heaters. Wait, you're true. Oh, it has to be. So the baby has a grip. The baby must have braces. Yeah. Maybe the baby's British. And they're getting started early. <laughs> All right. Next caller, please. They're just going home and saying, "How can I help you?" I think some pranksters might be giving my wife and I a run for our money. Uh huh. 
relaxing, and at night I keep hearing this strange, whoopee cushion type sound coming from outside. Like that? I, I tried to scare the kids off by keeping the porch lights on at night and putting out a neighborhood watch sign, but I, I think they're onto my tricks. Yeah. Do you have any advice you can send me? Yeah, Edward, give me a sec. Please hold. But his wife isn't cheating, there's no way. But the clothes are going missing. And I keep hearing strange whoopee cushion. Clothes are going missing whoopee cushion. Now, you know what this could be? Genuinely? This could be a troll, right? Because trolls report missing clothes, yada yada. But also, they will deflate their bodies to fit inside of homes. So while the troll is deflating his body, it's making this <laughs> type B. This is a troll type B. Edward, thank you for your call. We appreciate it. Oh, what if the internet goes out? We have to memorize all these. Sometimes the, the game will, the game will bug it. If you're gonna know me, now can I help you. Hello, I saw your commercial and I thought I would call just in case you might know what's going on. I was recently putting on my kettle for a bit of afternoon Earl Grey when I heard this awful buzzing sound coming from the cupboard. I looked around inside, but I couldn't find anything but a few loose tea leaves. I'm quite concerned about the hornets and the bees and the like because I'm, I'm quite allergic to their stings, you know. Ma'am, I... So I just wanted to know if there's anything I should be worried about right now. My hearing isn't what it used to be, after all. Ma'am, we'll take care of this. Please hold. Please hold. So it's not bees, right? This is a tea sprite. Network error. Wow, I jinxed it. Has to be tea sprite, right? Now we gotta memorize the rest of them. Where's the internet gonna come back, maybe? Oh Christ. Hey, what's going on? I can help you. Hi, we need some medical help. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what to say since I talked to our family practitioner already. Uh -huh. But he said to call here, so we've been um, having some trouble sleeping. I thought it was just me, but both my husband and I started feeling shortness of breath around the same time. I'm worried about something spreading through our house since our kids all have asthma and some particularly severe allergies. We tried washing all the bed sheets in the house, but that didn't really help much. Thankfully, the kids haven't had any issues yet, so could you help us out sooner rather than later? Yeah, Christy, give me a sec. Please hold. Why are we saying hag? Wait, why are we saying hag? Network error. It caused shortness of breath? Really? Oh. Good thing you guys hyper fixated on this one. Christy, we'll take care of this in bed hag. I was going to say black mold and call it a day, to be honest. Damn. Thanks for checking out there. I can help you. So, uh, I've been hearing this weird sound coming from the walls. Not exactly sure what it is, but I've been having a hard time sleeping at night because of this sound. Can you hear that? It's been on stop lately. I've replaced all of my smoke detector batteries and everything, but I cannot figure out where the sound is coming from. Okay, Carla, we'll get to the bottom of this. Please hold. Oh, network error still. Oh no, it's back, I think. 
It's the whistling fungi for sure. Ma'am, you have a bad case of the whistling fungi right here. Ma'am, thank you so much for your call. Appreciate it. What happens if you get it wrong? Then someone comes uh, from the company to your house and breaks your kneecaps. And then they, they seize your house and your assets. Thanks so much for calling the... I was like, oh, I can help you. The pile keeps growing. Tell me how to get rid of it. The instructions you sent didn't work and it smells so foul. I'm hearing angry voices coming from the walls. They keep telling me to eat it. Please. I don't want to eat it. Don't make me eat Uh... Where are you still with me, hon? Well, she is dead. We're gonna go ahead and mark up black mold. I don't think it was the Fay Feast. I don't think it was the Fay Feast. Oh, it was the Fay Feast, and she didn't eat the Fay Feast. And the gifter was offended. Thanks for joining me now. I now can help you. Um, hello? Can you help me? Maybe. There's this terrible smell in my house, and I can't figure out where on earth it's coming from. I think it's upsetting my puppy Meatball, too. He's really been acting up lately. I can hardly blame him. It, it smells so terribly rotten. Please, can you help? Yeah. Please hold. Okay, so what happened here is she has a classic case of the puka? A foul smells. A foul smell signifies decay, and a, the discarded body should be found and removed immediately. So meatball isn't actually meatball. Meatball became a meatball because he was eaten by a puka. Rach, I don't know how to put this, but. Pukas thrive on attention. Wait, true. <clears throat> oh, can I can help you. Oh, God. Oh, this guy. Sir. Sir. Ninety-two percent accuracy. That's pretty damn good. We got a coupon. You think over ninety percent? You get a you get a coupon. I think we're on the last day of the shift. Uh oh. Congratulations. We're happy to report we are most pleased. You are currently making all the necessary. Okay, I'm <clears throat> I'm sorry. We are currently making all the necessary preparations for your impending dissension, assuming you pass the trial. The soil is fertile. Keep up the great work. Thanks for working through the weekend. Okay. Now, it's not all bad, guys, because we have a discount for a Glamour Stone using the code WHAMGLAM. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> oh, boy. Entry browser. What is it? Wasn't here before. This is scaring me. Son die. No one's gonna. No one's gonna call in on Sunday because it's, it's everyone's at church. I think. This should go smooth. Oh. Uh, 
Okay. I see. What's going on here? Yep, yellow. Now I can help you. I'll sort that out for you. Give me one sec. Please hold. We are many, we are above, we are followers of our queen. What are we? Bees. You are bees, my friend. You are bees. You're bees. Showcase thy knowledge. This is kind of fun. The royal family. <laughs> Oh, we can't read. We can't read any of them. That's why we had access to the database before, so we could study. Oh no! You want to say, "Oh, now I can help you." I am not living yet. I clatter. I am small. I am weak. I serve my purpose, and I die. Please hold. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think it's animation. I think it might be the Twitch chat. I think it's animation, right? The animation is not a living thing and it, it serves a purpose. It said. Wow, my memory is gonna be tested. I think I got that wrong. Maybe. If the answer at the end isn't black mold, I'm gonna be upset. Oh, I now can help you. I am the beggar, I am the encroacher of the dry, I am a friend to the water of the sky, what am I? Please oh, hold. I'm so glad you asked, because you are most definitely a rain nymph. Thank you so much, have a nice day. Nice. Press on, employee. Is much wrong. Oh, and I can help you. I am the harbinger of death. I am the bringer of pestilence. I am forever the nuisance. What am I? Please hold. Gemini? Not an option. It has to be mouse. It doesn't make sense because harbinger of death, harbinger of death. You guys know what harbinger means, right? It is a, how do I put this? A harbinger foreshadows, if you will, something. Rats in the black plate, but rats isn't an option. Guys, rats is not an option. There's mice. Harbinger. I'm the bringer of pestilence. I'm forever the. It's gotta be mice, right? House fly is pretty annoying. I'm going mice. I'm going mice. It's got to be mice. Ooh. 
rejoice. Yippee! <laughs> That's what I was thinking, that flies indicate decay. Thanks much, Ron. All right, now can I help you? Seek the domains of those who have too much. Step within and they lose their way. What am I? Please hold. Those who have too much. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but the... Hear me out. The Closet Labyrinth mentioned something about wealth. Shablam. Expand thy mind. No, the horde just collects like junk. Any second now. Thank you so much for calling the home safety hotline. How can I help you? <laughs> we are companions of the gardens. We can call those who tread to tread no longer. What are we? A... Please hold. Oh. Companions of the garden. We compel those who tread to tread no more. Ah, uh, I don't know, dude. Yeah, it could be any any it could be any like the grassy ones, like it could be the the false it could be the false rose bush. It could be the 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 the, the seed, the seedlings. Oh my god. No, no, no. What's the one that's like it gives them violent, violent thoughts. I swear it was seed wings, right? Depression? No. I think it's seedling. Compel. Yeah, compel. And the seedling makes you, like, think fucking bad things. Autumn vines. No. Honestly, I think it is seedling. That's a tricky one because we never used that one before. Let go thy stilted soul. The unicorn one is like mostly for make to make dogs like dig. Yeah, the spriggans are the tr they live in the trees and, and they watch you and stuff. The seed wings was like is like the things are going to help you. Please hold. I am the dancer. I am the. Bringer of destruction. I consume the week. It's house fire because people always talk about how fires dance, right? House fire, final answer. Descend. You don't gotta tell me twice. Sink into the floor. Sink. Thank you so much for coming to the How can I help you? Grubhub? Please hold. 
it could be Santa. I'm the seeker. Could be Harry Potter. You're the one who serves. So me. The Dorcha did mention that. The Dorcha is is serving, I think. You might be right. I got it wrong. I got it wrong. The screen didn't change. I got it wrong. Unless I'm merely descending. I don't know, dude. Maybe Carol will call me right now. Thanks so much for calling the home safety hotline. How can I help you? Hello. Supervisor Carol here. We've been watching you closely. For all this time, you have been providing excellent and accurate answers to our callers. These acts will not go unrewarded, and I'm pleased to report that you have qualified for a promotion. Please stand by while I prepare thy promotion. Thanks! Yeah, she's she's off a bean right now. Look at her eyes. Promotion in progress. Please stand by. Girl, no, I'm fine. Just be... Okay, hold on. Let's hear her out. Please, be not afraid. Come close. Yeah, okay, okay, mamas. Shit. Oh, okay, okay. one of the devs Congratulations All hail our new junior supervisor All right, folks. GG. <laughs> 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 